Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the New York Giants offensive tackle situation. Uh, it's been something that's been bubbling a bit. Uh, I haven't got a chance to do a video on them yet, and I figured it the, the time is now um, to do this because uh, I think it's a big issue um, and highlights some of the inefficiencies that some NFL uh, offices have when it comes to uh, offensive tackle uh, evaluation um, because there's no doubt in the world that offensive tackle is a position where you do need to have a certain amount of development when it comes to technique when it comes to hand usage uh, when it comes to just your general your overall understanding of the offense and just football intelligence in general I mean football intelligence in general is a very big part of offensive linemen but at the end of the day, you do have to have some physical traits in order to be a great football player, to be great at any sport. You know, like, sure, Michael Jordan is a hard worker and um, incredibly intense, but he's also Michael Jordan, you know, and he has crazy athleticism and all this other kind of stuff. Um, so I just think I wanted to highlight... Uh, both these players based on their athleticism traits and just show you kind of the gravity of the situation here. So um, I'm going to leave the terms and definitions in the description. So if you're new to the channel and you, and you don't really know um, what some of the terms I'm going to use are, just go to that place. But let's start out with Eric Flowers. Um, Eric Flowers, based on my data since the 1999 NFL draft class, has a 62.10 explosive lower body strength score, a 61.65 speed score, and a 70.14 flexibility score. Um, based on this, uh, he does have Pro Bowl potential based on the bottom end thresholds. You know, these are bottom end thresholds. Like every single Pro Bowler had at least this low of an explosive lower body strength score. Every you know Pro Bowler had at least this low of a speed score. Every Pro Bowler had at least this low of a flexibility score. Um, but where Eric Flowers runs into issues is, is when it comes to his athleticism relative to the averages. And we're going to get into more of this when we actually look at the rest of the season for the Giants this year. Uh, but when you look at uh, Eric Flowers in terms of his athleticism in the averages, um, he's average in terms of flexibility, but he's not within the averages in terms of his speed, and he's not within the averages when it comes to expos his explosiveness. And this is with average starters. Um, this isn't average all-pro players. He's nowhere near the averages when it comes to all-pro tackles, nor is he anywhere near the averages when it comes to Pro Bowl tackles in terms of his overall athleticism traits. Um, so from the get-go, you're basically looking at a player who has a starter ceiling, fringe outlier-ish Pro Bowl potential just based on thresholds when he doesn't even fit within the averages of all-pro or Pro Bowl players when it comes to his overall athleticism traits. Uh, and then we get to the other guy in the mix who's even worse than Bobby Hart. You know, Bobby Hart is the right tackle uh, for the Giants. Uh, he had a 52.28 explosive lower body strength score, 8.25 speed score, and 18.55 um, flexibility score. And he does not even register anywhere near the Pro Bowl thresholds. He pretty much has a starter uh, ceiling when it comes to his overall athleticism based on the thresholds but then when you actually look at the averages it just gets worse he's nowhere near the averages when it comes to starters he's nowhere near the averages when it comes to his speed score and he's nowhere near the averages when it comes to his flexibility score and just to again just to give you the gravity of the situation this is the schedule of pass rushers that eric flowers and bobby hart are going to do and what i did was I took all the athleticism data that I already had on all these players and I compared them all uh, you know, together. So basically I just threw all the offensive tackles with all of the edge rushers and then scored them. And when you look at this, and, you know, and basically overall athleticism is just all those scores combined, there's only going to be two pass rushers on their schedule where they actually are, where Eric Flowers in particular is actually going to have an athletic advantage against these players um, in terms of overall athleticism uh, data. In, in, in terms of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, William Golston and Marcus Golden of the Arizona Cardinals, and both those guys are realistically going to be going up against Bobby Hart, and Golston and Golden have athletic advantages over Bobby Hart. This is why athleticism matters. 
um, it, it it's why it matters. And I, I do understand that, again, it, technique is important. You do need to have great technique. You do need to have good coaching. You do need to have really great football intelligence. You do need to have good hand usage. All the cliche things that offensive line coaches talk about all the time. It's true. All of it's true. But you have to have a baseline of athleticism to, in order to win these matchups, in order to do well against these matchups. Because, I mean, this is ridiculous, guys. I'm sorry. Like, when you have an offensive tackle, your top offensive tackle, Eric Flowers, you have all these pass rushers on the schedule for them. And they're this much more athletic than him. We're talking guys that are almost double his athleticism, overall athleticism when it comes to his data. This is ridiculous. And this is your top tackle. You know, this is your top tackle. The other guy who's your right tackle is the least athletic guy amongst all of these pass rushers. Every single one of these pass rushers is going to have a good to significant athletic advantage against Bobby Hart. And I don't know how we got here in terms of, like, I don't know how the Giants got here, but it's not good. Um, that's the only thing I can really say. Uh, so I think, one, I think the Giants do need to consider getting better at tackle. Obviously, they need to invest in that position a lot more. Um, I think this should open the eyes to why athleticism at the offensive tackle position matters because you can just you can look at the averages you can look at the thresholds you can look at all that stuff to see that you do need to have a baseline of athleticism to be a high-end offensive tackle i don't care if it's joe thomas any of those guys all those guys had elite athleticism traits in one way or another and you don't take a tackle as high as the giants took eric flowers when you don't have elite athleticism traits, and not only that, you're not even within the averages of a starter in the NFL, an average player. You're not even within the averages of that type of player. Uh, so the, the bottom line is, uh, this is a bad situation. And, uh, you know, the Giants have been dealing with this for a while. It, it messes up everything. It messes up Eli Manning. It messes up the offense. It can still function, sure, but... When you have a situation where every week you have players that are just so much more athletic than your own player, not even getting to the fact of rawness or bad technique or just being kind of eh as a tackle, you know, like I, I don't think anybody would say Eric Flowers is an elite technician. I don't think anybody would say Bobby Hart is an elite technician. So on top of not being all the things that offensive line coaches want an offensive tackle from a mental standpoint and from a technical standpoint they don't even have the athleticism to match up with the players that they're going against many of these guys are highly technically sound so uh the the, the bottom line is, is it's just a bad situation and again uh my name is james coburn you can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com you can also follow me on on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.